Hey guys, well it is officially time to start off the 2015 Derby season. And man, we got some fun stuff in store, number of events we're going to be filming, and uh, we have some changes in the fleet, which you guys will hear about as this video goes on. But we'll just start off with the first vehicle we got here sitting in the shop. This is my uh, Suburban that I built last year. It um, unfortunately had a sensor issue that was not allowing the motor to lean out like it was supposed to so it was actually just loading up and kind of flooding itself out and so we're gonna get that sensor changed out this year and then be good to go just all I did research over the winter and everything pointed to that and it makes perfect sense and because um, it fires right up and runs great until it gets hot and then it just doesn't lean itself out it just starts to load up and being fuel injected there's only a handful of things that could really be at play and Everything points to that. So we'll give that a shot. $10 part. Hopefully get it fixed up. And that, that's what took us out. It just uh, kept loading up, stalling. And then I was able to get it cleared out. And I just, But I had to restart the thing so many times that eventually the batteries just died. Um, but it's a 94 slash 95. There's parts to both on it. So, But we'll just call it a 94 just for the for sake of consistency. Not really sure if we're going to give it a new paint job, but we'll probably just leave it the way it is. Maybe just touch up paint on the wheels and stuff just to make it look better and give it a nice wash. And we'll just see how it fares after we clean it off. But obviously it's just loaded with a bunch of junk for uh, winter storage. So we pulled stuff out of the garage, moved stuff around, got the mower sitting up here now. And so yeah, this thing will be run again. Um, it'll probably be... Uh, I know it'll see the Derby at the Fulton County Fair, so it'll be out there again this year. Other than that, not really sure what's going on with this truck. Uh, we also then have our Orange Suburban, which will probably see the, the track a few times this year. Most likely we're going to try to actually take that out to the Ottawa County Fair, for any of you that are familiar with that, that we've ran before. And it'll probably make an appearance out at the Fulton County Fair, depending on how well it's uh, still faring. but. You know, we're still not exactly sure where all that's going to come into play. It's going to kind of depend on uh, timing and which vehicle is going to be the most ready. We also then have our, uh, I think it was like a 92 Chevy pickup. It was one we, my brother had uh, built and ran at Fulton County last year. So most likely that will be out on the track out there as well. I don't expect that to be ran anywhere else, but we'll see. That's still in storage out at our other shop, so hopefully we'll be able to get some video of that as time goes on. And um, got a new toy sitting over here. Any of you familiar with these things? This is a sand rail that I bought. I uh, sold some other toys I had, a four-wheeler enclosed trailer and some other things, and I got this thing. It's a street legal, four-seater, and it's got a 2.3 liter Pinto engine in it. But uh, We'll have another video on that later, um, but as you guys kind of look around, that's all we got sitting in the shop right now. And the um, reason being is we had the Camaro, but we still have it. It's in storage out at our Toledo shop. Um, but unfortunately, that will not actually see the track this year. I've uh, decided that that is going to spend the year in storage, just simply from a time standpoint. And we have a... Uh, a new derby truck, well actually two new derby trucks joining our fleet, but one is uh, back at to, in Toledo, and that is a, uh, it's another Chevy truck. Not really sure the exact year, but it was uh, painted bright pink for a breast cancer awareness event. And that has a uh, 4.3 liter V6 in it, strong running motor. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run it in that truck. And then after it's raining in the Derby, then we're going to pull the motor and transmission out of that truck and drop it in that Camaro. So it's kind of a, a matter of, well, one, I don't really have the time to build a bunch more vehicles. And uh, we're going to have the perfect engine for it. And we just got to wait another year. So that one will sit in storage. And um, we'll continue on outside. So, you know, we got this stuff sitting out. And uh, got the trailer sitting out over here. Gonna hopefully be getting some new boards put down on that thing. Uh, there were a few boards replaced on it, as you can see, and the back uh, tail section was replaced. Um, hopefully, maybe we can get some more new boards on there or change it out for a new trailer, but most likely, you're gonna just put the new boards on. Uh, sitting out here, we also then got the Imperial. It's uh, pretty much spent a lot of its winter outside. Got a guy already lined up who's gonna be purchasing this as soon as he. Uh, 
and get his trailer out of the muddy yard. He'll be coming by and they will get a video on that as well and you guys can meet that guy. He's a, a local friend and a fellow derby driver and uh, he's going to be buying this thing, using it for parts and uh, going to get himself fixed up to run his own Imperial this year so that'll be pretty cool for him. Uh, oh yeah, got a trailer here for that sand rail but again more on that later. And here we got sitting our 76 Gremlin. Now some of you guys might find this kind of some bad news or whatever but I actually have a guy who's offering me to trade this for a G... well it is a, uh, sorry, it's a 1986 Chevy pickup. It's going to be the three-quarter ton, so the 2500 series. And uh, we're going to be trading this thing out for that truck because I was finding this vehicle kind of a hard... The rules here locally, I just don't think favor this particular car. And um, I just uh, was kind of hesitant on how I actually wanted to build it. And then when this offer came about um, for this truck, we're gonna, I just got me excited. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna trade out this car for that truck. And then when I get the truck here at the shop, one, I'm gonna have a bunch of videos on how to's, on how to build a derby truck. Cause we never really have focused on that. You know, we've given you updates and stuff, but I'm realizing you guys send us a lot of questions and wanting to know info, information on how to's. And um, for that particular truck build, it's gonna be very much a stock build type of show and so I'm not afraid to give you guys some of our our tips and tricks because I don't really have anything to hide because there's not much I can do um, in the ways of the rules so you know standard stuff that if you just have a conversation with someone you can figure out for yourself so unfortunately for you guys this car is going to be going elsewhere and that guy's going to have some great luck with it and hopefully maybe we can get some video he can give me some videos and stuff of this thing running which would be pretty awesome so uh, we're going to be changing out for a vehicle that I think will be a little bit more suited for the rules here locally. And what's going to be e equally exciting, that I'm excited about at least, is we're finally going to be able to pull out that Windsor, that 351 Windsor that we got, that nice uh, powerful motor, and actually drop that into that Chevy truck. So that thing will really tear up the track. Hopefully you guys can hear all right with the wind. I'll try to get back inside. So just giving you guys a quick walk around and kind of a talk through of our season. Um, we might have a few other vehicles join as things always kind of progress and go on. We always discover new projects. Um, there's the Windsor tucked up and kind of all wrapped up in blankets. The Windsor and the C6 Trans. Any of you guys have seen kind of our um, Fulton County in-car videos or whatever, you've seen this thing in our Buick wagon and in our uh, Mercury car that we ran. It is a pretty beastly motor, and uh, we're going to drop that in that Chevy truck, and it ought to really tear it up. So we're pretty excited about everything we got going on, and uh, hopefully you guys are as well. And, you know, this year I really want to try to focus a little bit more on the fans. And what I mean by that is I want to give you guys the how-tos that you want to see. You know, so we're going to do some how-tos on just how to strip out some interior um, components for cars and trucks and give you the guys that kind of stuff this year. Maybe a little more in depth on a few things and projects as we go on. So feel free to comment below this video. Um, let us know anything that you'd like to see. Or if you just have questions or feedback or whatever, you know, I'm always open to it, but obviously, you know, these videos are free and so you kind of get what you get. But at the same time, I definitely want to be giving you guys videos that you want to see. So there's a how-to's or you have questions about something and you'd love to find out the answer to it well then send it to us you know whether send me a message or comment below you gotta let me know otherwise I never know what you guys are thinking in your head so there you go guys it is officially time to get started on this derby season we're gonna be uh, as I said we're gonna be filming a number of events where I'm gonna try to get out to uh, maybe a little more than I did this past year but at least try to get hit up those fairs again and uh, keep bringing this stuff to you guys for free. How awesome is that? You know, I'm. This is. Uh, it's all about all for him. You know. But um, there you go. Let's get started. Can't wait to hear uh, what you guys got going on as well. And definitely comment, comment, comment. Let me know what you guys want to see, and uh, we'll do our best to make it happen. So until the next video, we'll talk to you later, guys. Hey,
Welcome.